Okay, so what we've got here is a UK double electrical socket. Um, currently with two mobile devices plugged into charge, both USB devices, um, but obviously fully utilizing the two points we have in this plug. So the solution, or at least what we want to go for here, is one of these, one of the new twin sockets with USB charging points built in, which will then obviously free up these for other uses. Okay, first things first is you need to make sure that um, you disable the electrical power going to those sockets. In this case, we've got a new electrical consumer unit where you can actually isolate individual things such as the sockets. So where we're going to work at in this moment is sockets on the first floor. So all I'm going to do is to knock this one off. Even though you've isolated it at the consumer unit, it's obviously worth making 100% sure you've isolated the right circuit. So in this case, you'd want to check this with an electrical voltmeter or similar just to make 100% sure that it's not live before you do any work on it. So having checked this out, we can now take this one off the wall. Once you've removed the two screws holding the double socket on, pull it out the wall and you'll see your electrical wires running into the socket. In this instance, we've got the old wiring system of red for live, black for neutral, and then here's your earth wire here, the yellow green. So we're just going to remove these wires from the old socket by undoing the screws against each one. And just pulling each wire out. Here's our new electrical socket, live, marked, neutral marked, and also earth. And they have color coded these, but again, um, we've got the older standard of wiring, um, which is a slightly different color code to the new one. If you've got new wiring, nice and easy here, because it even shows you brown for live, blue for neutral. In this case, we're obviously going to marry up our red to the live and our black to the neutral. Again, if you're not sure of anything, um, always consult a qualified electrician. I've slotted each wire into the new um, double socket. I'm just going to tighten each one fully. Make sure they are fully tight because you don't want these moving out as you put it into the uh, in place on the wall. The final stage then is to just screw it back into the wall. Um, so just line up your screw with the slot behind. Do this for both sides and then just tighten it back onto the wall. Okay so we've got a new double socket on the wall. I've just gone and um, put the power back on at a consumer unit so we've got a live socket again now. If I plug this USB lead in we can just test on the, the device that it's charging, yep, and that's uh, all successful. So we've now got a brand new USB double socket fully working and uh, ready to service a workload of devices in this house.